when you write, you write just basically with the thought of, I'm going to be doing this by myself. I'm not going to be involving any other musicians, right? Yes. Okay. If I can offer a suggestion. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Audiobooks Now. We'll hear more about them later, but for now, on with the show. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me and my guest. And my guest is somebody that I met at one of the songwriter showcases hosted by Hal Savar. I believe the first time we met was at Soul Belly Barbecue on Main Street in downtown Las Vegas' Arts District. Um, she's a robotics champion and a servant of the community and an amazing singer-songwriter. Stick around. We're going to see a couple songs from her upstairs in Room 6 after this. Please welcome to the channel, Caroline Trinoski. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the channel. Do it official. Clink. Mm. So first of all, if you don't know who Caroline Trinoski is, thanks for watching. Tell them a little bit about yourself and also how, like, how long you've been playing music. What got you started down this horrible road? <laughs> so my name is Caroline Trinoski, as Josh said. I am 21. And... My love of music came from, I imagine my grandpa who was in his own band and played the accordion in a band called the Old Timers. Nice. I have all the cassettes still. So you see, kids, there were these things called <laughs> audio cassettes. It's an old joke. Um, thank you very much. And I apologize, it's Tronoski? Yes. Okay. Hal and I have been butchering it every time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. It never fails. Happy 21st birthday, by the way. Thank you. It was just recently, right? Yes, back in May. Cool. I got you an interview, so. <laughs> by the time you're watching this, it'll be like October, so <laughs> happy Halloween. Um, I wanted to hit you kind of a mix of, I have some personal questions. Okay. But I also have some of my usual interview questions. Number one, let's talk musical influences. Now, you said your grandfather, mm -hmm. but I want to talk that earliest musical influence, as in, what was that moment that you can remember thinking, I want to do that? My grandpa. Really? He lived with us from the time I was two until he uh, passed. But he was there with me when I could reach the keys on the keyboard and played on our little player piano. Nice. Oh, I uh, unfortunately, music came to me very late, like college. So my, my grandparents were... Very, very long gone by then. Um, fro but what you play, mm -hmm. it, how, like, when, when was the shift to I want to be a singer-songwriter as opposed to the kind of music he was making? I never actually wrote music to put out. That's, that's the funny uh -huh. thing, was I wrote music as a coping mechanism for kind of understanding my own emotions right out of high school. High school's a tough time for everyone. Yep. And so I wanted a way that I could decompress and when you... I was angry at the world or sad about a test or... Right. Music has that ability. Uh, and it's, it's amazing to me when you look at all the styles of music that are out there and still people seem to come up with something kind of unique in their own. Even though it's all the same eight notes. Yeah. It's all the same octave. It's all the same, you know, genres. No matter how many times you split the, the genre into subgenres, Heavy metal. Um, can you talk to me about the Lego League? So I actually work as a first Lego League coach. So I coach a fourth and fifth grade group and a sixth grade team. And it's essentially Lego robotics. So I help these fourth, fifth, and sixth graders on their hopefully until high school journey um, to robotics and the coding behind it, the design process, engineering process, the innovation part of it. And I help them build both those hard and soft skills that they need. That's awesome. Uh, I wish that I had something like that when um, her dad's off camera. I'm sure we, you'd like that when you were a kid too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it growing up without STEM really is 
it, 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 it's not, it, it limits where you can go in life, in my opinion, but also on the creative side, STEM forces creativity out of you. Like, why is it doing that? How do I solve this particular problem? And with robotics, mm-hmm. it either works or it doesn't. Yep. <laughs> and with programming, the joke is it works. Why? It doesn't work. Why? Yeah. <laughs> you know, what the heck did I do wrong? Um, from there. Now, you haven't been... You're a fairly new performer, like yes. on the stages. Am I correct that your first time performing in front of people outside of like church or something was at the Songwriter Showcase? Yes, that is correct. I was there. Um, I think I, I mentioned that in the review. I even was like, yeah, and you did a really good job. It's, Thank you. I know that oh, it's a barbecue joint, it's a stage, it's whatever, but it can be also nerve-wracking. But the, the crowd that the Songwriter Showcases that, that Hal has managed to build this community into is so supportive, especially if you mess up. <laughs> They're so supportive. So how, well, first of all, I've seen your confidence change, grow as, as you, this, you know, time goes by and, and you do more and more. Like anything, the more you do it, the more confident you become at it. But I was wondering, have you noticed, um, like, walk me through, what's your preparation before going on stage? Everybody has the, kind of their own little ritual or whatever. And has that changed as you've gotten more like used to it? Yes and no. I find that if I practice a million times right before the performance, I end up not doing great. So I just need to... There's, a, there's an old saying in the theater, you know, perfect practice makes poor performance. Yes. But it's almost like a curse. Like, you know, how was, sound, how was a dress rehearsal? Oh, it went great. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know? But yeah, but if, if you just kind of wing it? Yes, I find that if I wing it, then it lets my raw motions kind of go into the music. And that's that's really what I want, is right. I use music to convey my emotions. But you new musicians out there, it's very important you understand this. You can only wing it effectively if you put in all the work practicing. True story. Yes. You can't just wing it not knowing what the heck you're, you're doing. Huge, trust me. Huge mistake. There's a that. difference. Yeah, big difference. But even the like, think of think of a great musician. Any of them, Jimi Hendrix, you know, uh, uh, just pick a genre. Think of a really great musician. They almost every single time they perform, they do it slightly different. They wing it mm-hmm. slightly because they can. Yeah. But, but I want you to remember something. It's your music. So all you have to do is say, "I changed it." Yeah. Yeah, you know, I put that awkward pause in the middle of there on purpose. I learned that in uh, handbells because no one in the audience is going to know if you've rung a bell wrong. Can you? Well, I mean, you could ring it too quietly, I guess, or too loud. Well, if you uh, ring the wrong bell, oh, 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 or in the wrong right, place, right, yes, then it still all sounds all shiny and sparkly. Right, and bells. I mean, there's not a whole lot of gradation. A lot of difference in the, 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 the notes, right? Yes and no. You can play them differently. Like, you can do, like, a gyro effect, and that makes it sound different. Oh. Or you can do thumb dampening, which makes it shorter and more... Today I learned. <laughs> Teach the children. <laughs> All right. Um, I want to... Where are we at here? The time. We're going to take a quick little break. Okay, because I, number one, your cu- your cup's getting a little low there. <laughs> number two, I think we're going to hear a quick message from future Josh. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. Whether you're on tour and trying to ignore your bass player's snoring, or just trying to expand your mind while staring at mile after mile of corn, life on the road can get monotonous and downright boring. You know what would make it better? Shoving a book in your ears. Audiobooks Now is a digital audiobook downloading and streaming service. With their unique club pricing model, you receive deep discounts on all your purchases. Club members also enjoy rollover discounts each month and have access to exclusive discounts and offers. Club members can choose a free premium audiobook from hundreds of titles and can cancel at any time. Or, users can purchase audiobooks at their everyday low prices with no plan required. You can download or stream audiobooks from their website or their free apps, both on Apple and Android. Audiobooks Now currently offers over 80,000 premium audiobooks plus thousands of free audiobooks. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get two months free to their club pricing. 
which includes 50% off digital audiobooks, a free premium audiobook, exclusive discounts, and more. Just enter coupon code PJ2M at checkout. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Audiobooks Now for being a sponsor, and let's get back to today's show. We're back, and I only have a couple more questions for you. Number one of which was, do you have any crazy Smiths stories? So, I worked at Smiths for a very short period, but I started March of 2020 in my senior year after everything cut off. Mm. So school ended, literally no warning, and it was COVID, and it wasn't in the best area. And as a courtesy clerk, you see a lot of customers. Yep. And you see a lot of different people throughout the days. And half of the shelves were generally empty every day. Really? But what was, is, was there a story you can tell on camera in front of your father? <laughs> that was just like, oh, that's one for the books. Because I've worked retail for many, many years. And I'm, I know people, customers to be interesting. We'll go with that. Well, there was one time around 4th of July where I was in the same store as a customer and a citizen's arrest was made because a guy stole a little old lady's purse and she yelled, he has my purse. And so the workers are not allowed to touch. Right. They're not allowed to take part in that citizen's arrest. But two other guys held him down until the cops came. I mean, first of all, kind of a... Kind of a brave move on their part. I'm not sure if it was smart or, or dumb to, to try to steal somebody's purse in daylight in, in a grocery store. Oh, it was nighttime. Oh, well, but what I mean is, you know, yeah. like when it's open, it wasn't like he he tried to break in when it was closed or robbed her on the street. But... Again, not the best neighborhood. Right. So, yeah, don't do crimes, kids. <laughs> it reminds me of a story where... Um, I. Very early on uh, in college days, I, I delivered pizza for Domino's and mm-hmm. did my time in the pizza wars. And there was a story going around where a Pizza Hut driver, you may have heard this, Pizza Hut driver who was on an air rifle team had his empty air rifle in the back seat, and people, someone tried to jack him, someone tried to like rob him for the, the checks and money and pizza that he had on him. And he chased him off with the air rifle, and then he went back to the store and made the mistake of telling his manager. And what do you think happened to him? Got fired? He got fired. And so our boss told us, just give him the money. I don't want to have to fire you because of something, you know, this this is stupid. So, um, personally, I, I, I've had, I, I've gotten robbed in, at, a, at a workplace, and, uh, and the cameras miraculously worked the next day. <laughs> so that was fun. Right on. Um, now, because you're new, still, you know, still shiny <laughs> with the whole performing thing, um, you probably don't have a whole bunch of, like, performing in front of people, uh, memories. But is there one that stands out like your favorite show memory so far? Mm, probably the first time where I actually think it was Nate from Beyond the Arrow's dad yelled out to get closer to the mic because you could not hear me. Nice. And it was just right. that little thing that was just like... This is a supportive group. They actually want to hear. Yeah. And Beyond the Arrow has been on the channel. They are so freaking talented. They're amazing. They are so amazing. Um, and I, I get the feeling that Emily had to go through the same thing. Because her she's certainly louder now. Yes. But I was wondering, uh, when you write, you write just basically with the thought of, I'm going to be doing this by myself. I'm not going to be involving any other musicians, right? Yes. Okay. If I can offer a suggestion. Start thinking about that, especially for showcases, because Monty's there on drums, and mm-hmm. you know you never know who, who might be there. Well, and if you say, hey, you want to jump up? It's in this key, but it goes like this, and they'll, they'll, you know, they'll be game and try, but it can only make you sound better to have more people on stage. Yeah. Sting. You know Sting? Hmm? You know the singer Sting? Possibly. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Have you heard of a band called The Police? Yeah. He was the singer. Oh. Uh, he also, you know, he wrote a few songs of his own. 
he, he, he's, he's what you would call a megastar. Sting once said, I just made a career of surrounding myself with people better than me. And, and, and it's true, like, musically, you listen to the music that's going on besides what he's doing on bass and, and singing, and it's just like, there's a lot of stuff going on there. There's a lot of talent, and they're very tight and very complicated, because they're winging it only because they practiced. <laughs> Callback. Hey. Um, so I, it's just like I, I noticed. Um, I, I've heard Caroline's music many times at all the showcases and and uh, reviewing it and stuff. And here again upstairs. And uh, it's you can only write for just yourself for so long before yeah. it starts sounding a little bit the same. But if you start writing, thinking, okay, well, what's the drummer doing on this? What's the bass player? Hey, what about keys? And it, it you start looking at your instrument a little bit differently. That's it. Old man rant over. <laughs> Not a rant, but that's my my two cents. Take take it what you want. I actually have a few friends that actually play instruments. So. Nice. Well, get that garage band going there, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> there would be no room in the garage. Huh. It would be the dojo. Nobody band. in Vegas does a garage band in the summer if they can help it. <laughs> we have our uh, dojo slash music room. So. Nice. All right. One more question. You made it. Hey, speaking of which, I've been remiss in my, my duties as a host of this channel. Um, if you're still watching, thank you. And if you want to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address down in the description or click the Room 6 social media link. That's also where you'll find all ways, sorts of ways to support the channel uh, and where you can find out what else I'm doing. And what the heck, check out one of my podcasts. I do a podcast by myself every Monday night at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time called Room 6 Radio on Twitch. And uh, I also post the recording of it on on the channel. Basically, what I do on Monday nights is I talk about, here's the live music original shows that have popped into my radar uh, for today, Monday through Sunday. If you want to be you know mentioned on that, if you have a show coming up, hit me up before, hit me up by the Saturday of the previous week by 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Got it? Cool. Nice and clear. Uh, the other podcast I do with a friend of mine who was the very first interview guest, actually. My former drummer, Sean Flume, who now lives in Kansas. Poor guy. And uh, he and I get together uh, on Sundays at uh, virtually. And it's called Two Brains, One Bottle. And we talk about whiskey and we talk about whatever we want for about an hour. And it's a fun time. So feel free to swing by and check those out. All that is down there in that link, that uh, Room 6 social media link. Or I'd probably uh, put it on the screen. Last question. You ready? Oh, by the way, you have, you have no recorded music yet, right? No. Stick around for that performance. This will be the first time that there's a recording of, of her performance besides at some show. So, what I wanted to... Before I ask my last question, I wanted to say, what do you have coming up next, musically, that they would want to know about? Bearing in mind, this will post in October. <laughs> I'm planning on continuing doing the showcases. Planning on doing some home recordings to put on my social media. Cool. And um, your social media handle has already been put on the screen, but check out the social media. I'll check out all the links I have for her down in the description. Last question. Here we go. I've been stalling on it. Sorry. Let's pretend we're talking to little you. A little Caroline. And I ask this of all my prayer. Okay, you OG room sixers, you know this one. What we're really doing is we're talking to new musicians, but when you started, when you've got that, I want to do that. Okay? And and to, to today, what is one thing that you wish someone had told you that you might want to know? And don't say change your strings. Make sure your guitar is tuned. No, no. <laughs> that's that's just jazz, baby. <laughs> It's a fusion of jazz and funk. It's called junk. <laughs> um, but talk, just, teach, teach the children. Talk to them. Just jump into it. I mean, if you find the right community, which can be hard at first, but like House of Art puts on the great showcases, and if you find the right community, just jump into it. Give it your all because you're going to grow from there. Couldn't say it better. The second someone gives you positive feedback, stick with them. <laughs> but um, don't be. Af that being said, listen to people who give you constructive criticism, mm -hmm. because that's how you actually grow. 
Um, that's about it. I think we're going to go upstairs to room six now. And uh, in the meantime, temporarily say goodbye. Thanks for being on the channel. Thank, Thank you for you. watching. Say goodbye, Caroline. Bye. ba da ba ba da ba This song is Dissimulation, and here we go. There's this new app you should check out. Joy, thumbs down to feet, repost anxiety, follow for hate. All we know is this empty silhouette. Watch your mask get shattered with your back it stabbed. Your story exhilarated. The social hierarchy ventilates every single second of your history. Constant prolification, fake enthusiasm, preeminent disaster in the validation. So far away, something I gotta chase. How do we break this on repeat? Functionality, it's killing me. Cause thumbs up, fake joy, thumbs down, defeat. Repost anxiety, fall off a hate. All we know is this empty silhouette. Watch your mask get shattered when your back gets stabbed. This song is Ephemeral Infatuation. Here we go. Wingles by. So does time Thoughts get lost between you and I There's so much for us to do I'm so lost without you Oh, I I So tell me something on the moonlight under stars by the sea. Tell me you love me forever just because you need me. Oh, if it's a lie, don't you? I'll expect you to leave But just for this moment Please tell me you love me I know it's a lie I know that you'll leave But let me for a moment just dream
just your voice takes me through the day. Smile from you keeps the nightmares away. There's no home without you here. What should I do? You're just so dear. So tell me something. Stars by the sea. Tell me you love me forever, just because you need me. Oh, if it's a lie, don't you worry. I'll expect you to leave, but just for this moment, please tell me. This song is shattered. Here we go. I want to thank Caroline Tronoski for coming on the channel. It was a great interview and an awesome performance. If you want to be on the channel, like I said, hit me up down in the description. Otherwise, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, you know what to do. Click over there and don't forget to ring the bell. If you want to hear my own music, click over there. And remember to be amazing. And we'll see you next time on Room 6. <sighs> Say goodbye. Bye. Should we do it again? Yes. Ba-da-ba-ba-da-ba. -ba -ba -ba.